Mr. Chan, you belong to the Curacao Chinese Club. What are the activities and projects you your organization focuses on? Well, to start with, uh, the Curacao Chinese Club has been changed. The name has been changed into officially the Curacao Chinese Union Foundation. So it is a Chinese union now. Uh, formerly, it was called Chinese Club, and everybody is still calling it Chinese Club. Um, the reason we changed the name is because we, our organization is more than just a club. A club is where people come together, having fun, uh, leisure time, uh, sharing some drinks, and telling stories, and all those things. But uh, what we are doing in the Chinese Union is more than that. We, for example, we are the official organization between the government officials and the Chinese community, and vice versa. Uh, also, we provide uh, support across the border. For example, two years ago, with the, uh, the catastrophe of the, what was that? What In St. Martin? With yes. The hurricane. the hurricane, I forgot the name. Uh, we have help to, the, to, to um, bring over our Chinese friends living there in trouble uh, because they were looting. Uh, we started with a campaign to bring them over. Um, we also have now reorganized ourselves and we have the mother organization which is the Curacao Chinese Union Foundation and in our sub-organization, we have different organization because there are too many different things we have to do. We have different tasks. For example, we have uh, the Curacao Women's Organization for the Chinese. And we have uh, the Curacao Chinese School Foundation for the cultural part. Uh, we have the Dutch Caribbean China Cooperative Foundation so we can work with uh, China, and China can work with us here, and with, with the this foundation in between as uh, intermediate or support or counseling. But do you receive um, do you receive support from China itself, from mainland China? We we receive uh, cooperation as a support, uh, not in financial means. They will send. Uh, uh, some officials of them to visit us and we discuss matters and we have people, our board members, they travel to China regularly and they will meet with them and they have talks and trying to f promote Curacao and to make Curacao more known in China. Um, two years ago we have the Canton radio and television. They were here and they have made a rep report about Curacao with the help of our local Curacao Tourism Board. And they have aired the video. So it was for the first time that was, you know, more than one million people at once, they learned about Curacao before it was not possible. So we, we are promoting uh, Curacao and make sure that not only Aruba is known in China, but also Curacao. But what about the, all the Chinese um, uh, companies here, businesses, Th the new organization? Is it trying to, to organize them, to have one voice for all of them? Or do we have to think about something different when you say you're, you're changing the, the Chinese club to a union? Well, the union is a mother organization. And with all those other sub-organizations, uh, which I have mentioned before, but also we have another sub-organization which, which is the Curacao Chinese Enterprises Union. This Enterprises Union uh, is an official member of the VBC, the Curacao Business Association. Correct. And um, recently we, we have funded this uh, union and become member of VBC at once. Uh, what we do is we will promote and support the, uh, the, all the Chinese businesses 
uh, all Chinese business, businesses are members of this union. And um, with us having a representation of VBC, we can have a direct contact with other businesses and other organizations. So I think this is um, uh, a good development for all enterprises in Curacao. And uh, how do you see the future then for the, of this organization? Do you think it'll, it'll be something that has influence in the economy, in, in government, in, in every aspect of society? Yes, of course. Look, uh, we'll promote more understanding between the Chinese enterprises and other uh, organizations. And also we will uh, provide the support and uh, promote the knowledge about biz doing business on Curacao and also about the uh, legislation like the tax laws and uh, how to obtain a permit, how to operate your business uh, in compliance with all those rules.